Hi everyone, this is Harshwardhan and you are watching our web YouTube channel and in this lecture we are going to create search functionality. So let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So here I am on my Visual Studio Code. At first I will get inside my home page and at the top I would like to add a text bar and a search button. So for this I will create a form that will have post method and I will say input type text and name will be search type underscore data and uh, we don't need id for the time being and we also say input as submit okay great and the button name will be search great so now we have our form but uh, we don't have a link to send this information because these forms are not created from Django itself we are creating that form in the HTML so we need a link where we can post that information so that we can process them and for that I'll get inside my views and I'll create a new view I will say df search take request and I will say print request dot post okay now I am just going to print request.post and I will say return render what we have to render we will render request where we have to render we will say my app slash search dot html and uh, context will be nothing. So here is this search dot html I will create a search dot html file I will say sea or ch search dot html and in this I will create file I will say searched save and I just want to save this also now I will run the server I will say python manage.py run server okay great so I will just copy this link open that go to slash list and here I will uh, let's say say something and think post CSRF forbidden we have to add CSRF token so I will say CSRF token and now save that again refresh uh, actually we have to refresh from here so I'll refresh and I'll say post okay now form is working fine now we have to connect so for this we will say URL and uh, should be URL and here we will provide the URL what is the URL see we have uh, defined a view search we have to connect it with a URL so for this we will create a URL say path search search uh, it should be views dot search views dot search and the name will be search s e a r c h search great so now we have our url so right here we will say my app to search s e a r c h great save that and now get back here refresh the page continue and say post save see our search functionality is working fine now let's check what's the information inside the query dictionary so we have uh, a CSRF token and search data. So what is the search data from where it came? See, you have defined name. So this name will be the key and the data and the value will be the whatever data user has provided. Okay. So if user has provided post, so it will present as a key value format and key will be the name that you will provide here. Great. Now get back inside views.py and process this information. So I will say if uh, it's actually not required, we can directly do that. So we will say search underscore data equals to request dot post. And from that, we will say dot get and we will search for search underscore data. So now we have search data, but uh, based on that 
that uh, word or whatever text it is we have to retrieve the information from the database for this we will say post dot objects dot filter at first filter with status status equals to published and we also need body underscore underscore contains so we are trying to identify those posts whose body have these words and that will be search data underscore data okay great so i will save that in our dictionary i will say query dictionary equals to this and now i will create a context i will say post is query dictionary save that uh, open your search.html right here instead of search we will say posts okay save that and get back to the browser refresh continue now you can see post have two uh, posts the that means the post word in uh, a post from the shell and this is a title four so let's uh, furnish this we will say for post in posts and we will say right inside this post and actually we also want to create an anchor tag so we'll say a and we'll say url we will, actually it's not a url because we are going to use the get absolute url method so we will just provide like this we will say post dot get absolute url and control v post great remove this save that and get back to the browser refresh so now we have two different posts we have to provide a line break so we'll say line breaks save again refresh so now we have two posts i'll just go to both the post so here you can see we have a post from the body here we have post and here we have post four great so i'll just take that to list and again, I will search for, let's say, anything, let's say road. Search these three posts, these all posts have uh, road. So, will some where have road. Yeah, great. Now, you can also search for, let's search for laptop. Is there anything? So, no, no, no post with that. I will uh, search for electronics. Elec. Let's search. Yes, we have some. So we'll say E L E C. So election, right? So that's how you can create search functionality for your blog post website. That's it for this lecture. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section or on my Instagram, harshwardhan.ai. Thank you. See you in the next one.